Alrighty, guys. So here is a uh, review with Mrs. Pat's fan. Hello. This beer right here is called, let me get a better grip on it, Baying Hound Ale Works. And the reason this beer is significant is I would have never known it had existed if it wasn't for Untapped. So if you guys have not subscribed to Untapped, you should definitively do it. And if you have any questions, comment below or send me a PM. And then my screen name is, I believe, JR Belcher or Pat's Fan 1284. You can find me under either, or you can type my name in, um, which is Joe Belcher. So the reason Untapped is so important is that uh, these this is from a microbrewery. They actually, I believe, do about 10 and 15 gallon batches, so very small. And I actually didn't even know they existed, except for on tap. They, I was in the, um, I was in the map function, and I was like trying to see what was in the area, and this popped up, and I thought it was actually our local establishment, Growlers, and I was like, wait a second, Growlers isn't isn't down in that direction. That's not right. And I zoomed in again, and it said Bang Hound. So, thanks to Untapped, we have this beer. So this is a Kolsch style ale, which is weird because Kolsch's are normally lagered, and they are definitely not ales, so I am intrigued to see what they say. Here's their description. Rockville is our take on the Kolsch-style golden ale, brewed at warmer temperatures, which is what I was saying, and then cold lagered. This style is a specialty of Cologne, Germany. That works for you, but we're not in Cologne. Perfect for the warmer months, refreshing with a little more hop kick than our German counterpart. So let's go off the smell. I was just drinking. I know. I, I saw. <laughs> Alcoholic over here. So smell. I think it smells good. It smells like a Kolsch. Very refreshing. Definitely a little bit of a hop kick. What do you it's think? Not, not crazy hop. Mm -mm. I'm a little distracted by the burning in my fingers. From the peppers. Yeah. Suck it up. <laughs> the, um, I like it. It kind of reminds me of that, uh, Erdinger, but just a little more, um. That hope. one was a little bit less hoppy. hoppy. Mm hmm. I like it. It's smooth. I like it. We'll have to. Do they, is it just like a bar or do they have food too? Oh. It's just like a bar. I don't, I think they have, um, they've got like pretzels and maybe nachos, but that's about it. So it's like a sixth. Yeah. And it's 5.5% alcohol per volume. But it's $7.99. That's not too bad. I'd be willing to pay that. Um, I'd be willing to pay that. Not every week, but I could buy a couple of these over a summer for sure. What do you think? You like it? It's not bad. Out of a 10, what would you give it? 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Mm, 7, 7.5. I'd be willing to give it an 8. I think it's a good beer. Um, I really like the story. You haven't read the story. You'll have to go to their website and read their story. Don't do it around people. You'll cry. But it's very good. The people who own this brewery are, um, they are dog lovers. So it's a big, big plus for me. Big plus. But uh, this is really good. I was kind of intrigued. Wondering how the yeast was going to work out. Because normally when you, um, when you use yeast out of it, it's, temperature zone it can have a uh, drastic most of the time bad results with esters and off flavors but I don't really have any off flavors I think it's really good I think it's definitely um, refreshing it's got some complexity with the yeast you can definitely tell the yeast is done at a higher temperature because there's a little bit of fruity taste take another sip you'll taste fruitiness it's not like fruit fruit it's like a yeasty fruit that's like that little tingly and um, Okay. Pick up on it. This tongue does more. Has a lot of talent to it. You are editing that part out. I will. Um, so, I'm going to hell. So, this is a very good beer. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I think we're going to enjoy this. And then off camera, I'm probably going to get slapped. So, it was nice to see you guys. If I'm not Hi. back next week, call the police. Alright guys, that's it. If you, um, if you don't have untapped... 
I couldn't replicate that if I tried. That was awesome. Uh, if you don't have Untapped, you need to get it and friend me on it, offer it new, and uh, get it, guys. It's awesome. You're going to find a lot of cool breweries around you that you never knew existed. So thanks, Untapped. We're out.